Hey guys, it's Mel again. I don't know if that picked up or not. Um, I had to wait till this thing so I was recording. So I wanted to do this video before I forget and I was helped by um, you guys and I'm getting this thing down um, through the help of you guys leaving the comments and us answering each other's questions. But I had a question for, um, first of all, thanks to Scrap and Posh here on YouTube. She recommended um, Kadoodlebug Designs and she said that they have really cute cuts that you can buy and they also have like a freebie I don't know if it's a freebie Friday or it just happened to be Friday yesterday so I picked up this freebie here but I thought I wasn't going to be able to use it because it was that I, am I, I'm probably saying this wrong but that DFX file DXF I don't know something like that and but supposedly you can still use it if you only have the silhouette studio not the upgraded designer software which is all that I have um, and I watched another video for Debbie H, which also has a lot of good videos, but hers seem to be more advanced things. Um, but um, this one thing helped me, and she showed how you could use it without using um, Inkscape. Um, so my question earlier was, so I was able to get it to here, and I was able to get where the cut lines are, but I couldn't figure out, like, if I wanted to place these and move them around on my um, page to do my paper scraps for the paper piecing, like I couldn't get, like if I would go to move one, it would move the whole thing. And I need to spread them out and put all the brown pieces on this side so I can utilize my mat. So I asked if you guys knew because I'm as I right click, as you can see, this isn't highlighted for me to hit on group. But somebody said, um, recommended, and it was Marianne here and also um, I Love Disney. And thank you very much because you both were right. Um, and all you have to do is go down here. And I wanted to show you guys how to do this so you know too. And click Release Compound Path. So now I should be able to go in and say now I can move individually my pieces over so I can put all the brown pieces on one side. I can organize my mat and I can plan better where I'm going to be um, placing all my items. So that was a big help because this was completely free. And that's a cutie pie one. Um, sometimes the free ones are like, eh, or they're not as, you know, fancified as this one with the colors. So I even took it a step further and this is just a sloppily put together but I was planning out my colors I wanted to use so I just used this autofill button in here like I showed you before and you can change the colors so you can see how they're going to look. So that way when you're ready to cut out on your mat and you have a gray scrap here you can put your green like you can do your groupings together and just put maybe green down here and then take all the brown pieces um, anything you need of the same color and try to put all them together and then you have a darker brown and this way you can organize your mat and pull them to move them over easier and you kind of know what you're looking at instead of a bunch of instead of a bunch of red lines and um, this this is really going to be a big help so thank you thank you thank you ladies for helping me and all of you who are leaving these comments and if any of you have any um, suggestions on great websites like um, this one was great I was glad to hear about the Kadoodlebug designs um, and I know there's some other ones that have freebies and things like that that are good to follow because you also might see some tips and tricks over there on the best way to utilize your thing. So I've been having fun with this and I hope you guys are too. And I'm going to keep these videos coming as I learn these little things because each little thing you learn will make it that much easier for you to move around um, and use your silhouette and not keep it in the box. So I hope this helps you guys and um, let me know if you have any suggestions on websites. Bye guys.